Today we're going to learn about properties of a rhombus. A rhombus is a quadrilateral with four equal sides. The opposite sides are equal to each other. The opposite angles are equal to each other. And the adjacent angles always add up to 180 degrees. Also, the diagonals bisect the vertex angles. The diagonals also bisect each other at right angles. One thing to keep in mind is that the diagonals are not the same size. Now, let's look at an example. to 100 
180 degrees. Angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. And angle C plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Diagonals bisect the vertex angles. The vertex angles are angle A, angle B, angle C, and angle D because they are the angles where the two lines meet at one vertex and form one whole angle. Now, let's draw our diagonals. This is diagonal 1. This is diagonal 2. It bisects the vertex angles, which are A, B, C, and D, which means it splits that angle into two equal parts. So, that means we have twice as many angles. Let me draw those angles out. Let's say this is angle 1. Let's say this is angle 2. Let's say this is the angle 3. Let's say this is angle 4. Let's say this is angle 5. And let's say this is angle 6. And let's say this is angle 7. And last but not least of all, let's say this angle is angle 8. Now, the diagonals bisect each other at vertex ang I mean at right angles. So these are the right angles. Now, one thing is that the opposite angles, like angle one and angle six, are equal to each other. So that means that angle 1 is equal to angle 6, angle 2 is equal to angle 5, angle 3 is equal to angle 8, angle 4 is equal to angle 7. Let me write that out. Angle 1 is equal to angle 6. Angle 2 is equal to angle 5. Now, because the diagonal bisects the vertex angle, which means it splits it into two equal parts, that means that angle 1 and angle 2 are equal, which makes it so that angle 1 is equal to angle 5 and angle 2 is equal to angle 6. So let me write that out. Angle 1 is equal to angle 6, which
which is equal to angle 2, which is equal to angle 5. Now, angle 3 is equal to angle 8, while angle 4 is equal to angle 7. Let me write that angle out. Angle 3 is equal to angle 8, while angle 4 is equal to angle 7. Now, because this diagonal bisects the vertex angles B and D into two equal parts, that means that angle 3 is equal to angle 4, and angle 7 is equal to angle 8. So that makes it that angle 3 is also equal to angle 7, while angle 4 is also equal to angle 8. Let me write that out. Angle 3 is equal to angle 8. which is equal to angle 7, which is equal to angle 4. Now, the way to find the area for this rhombus is diagonal 1 times Diagonal 2 over 2. So, let me write that out. Area A is equal to diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 over 2. Now, this D stands for diagonal, not the vertex angle. Today we learned about the properties of a rhombus. Thank you for watching this video. Another way to find the area of this rhombus is area A equal to base times height. This H stands for height. The height is always perpendicular to the base. This is the height. DC is the base. Today we learned about properties of a rhombus. Thank you for watching this video.